Youch. That's a part we gotta fix. We're down in the pit again today. Today we're trying to solve our hydraulic flow. We wanna be able to go fast up. We don't wanna restrict our motor, but we wanna be able to have a more controlled descent down. So this is kind of our difference we're looking at. Here's our down. And it'll come down here and get real jerky. So, uh, makes it very hard to be precise where we want towards the bottom. But going up, we don't want to restrict the flow because it's a lot slower, takes a lot more pressure. Did some studying on hydraulics. Uh, this is not my profession, but... Okay, so this is a one-way check valve. So that means that one way it'll be restricted and the other way it'll free flow and then it will have adjustability to it. So hopefully this is what I needed. This is the symbols you need to be looking for. The top symbol means it's restricted. The bottom symbol means that it flows one way freely. I designed my hydraulic system as a 3.8 system, 3,000 pound system. This is a 4,000 working pounds. Um, this is 3.8 NPT. So in order to get this to work, I'm gonna need some adapters. My hydraulic hoses are 3.8 JIC. So this is 3.8 JIC to 3.8 NPT. So I got a male and a female, and this does swivel. Part of my failure with this pit has been that when it comes down, when you're using the reverse hydraulics, it will snap this thing together real fast because the momentum at which the X-frame goes is exponential to how far the ram travels. So it goes way too fast and it'll slam down. And I also had an issue with it having a little problem getting it lifted up. So I wanted to reduce the speed and give it a little lift help. So I installed this spring system down here and it didn't work real great. It still slams down and then it creates torsion in the frame. It wants to lift up the frame and that causes me to get misaligned more often. Uh, it's a little better when the weight from the plate's on here, but... So this is the thing I'm hoping to solve today with my hydraulic upgrade. Okay, so this is what I'm battling. Yikes. Way too fast going down, not enough control. We gotta take a look at this and see where we've got room for the fitting. Unfortunately, Beaver uses this weird 12 size fitting and I had my hose made into this so that would have been really hard to find this 3 8 and space and get it all to work. I would have had my hoses redone. So that wasn't a very good option. So I'm gonna put this on my cylinder side. this this cylinder doesn't give us very much room and this is the one they can kind of get smacked by the plates we put it down there, then I think that's what's gonna work. Now, hopefully I'll get lucky and be putting this in the correct way. I'm pretty sure the way this goes is that the flow goes out the long way. Okay, so I got this installed. I got it restricting flow going back 
out and back into the pump, that should slow it down going down. Hopefully this works. Uh, I got the battery hooked back up. We're ready to try this. There may be a little bit of air to bleed out of the system, but uh, we'll give it a couple of goes. That's not working either. Let's go all the way down, maybe. Well, not so lucky. I installed it in backwards. Let's flip it around. Okay, we got it backwards. Maybe the long pointy part shows the open flow for free flow. I don't know. Seems backwards to me. Success! That was so smooth. It's a little slow on the long run, but now I have this thing to slam down. That's a lot better. I like it a lot better. Uh, let's try a little faster. Six. Seven. Six, seven. Five is too much. Still too much. Perfect. All right, so let's take a full round on this all the way down, all the way up, and see how we like it. Excellent. There's one last thing I wanted to show you. We got the valve control in there, but the other half of this is adjusting your pressure. I was having an issue with this, having enough strength to go up on its own, being full horizontal. The manual doesn't tell you, but if you do a lot of digging, then you can find out that these are pressure adjustable. Not the speed, but how much PSI it lets it have before it flows back into the tank. So my lifting side is this side. This is a lock nut. And then this is the one that you go righty tighty in. And the further this goes in, the more pressure you'll have. Unlock, and then you lock down this to keep it from backing in and out. The back side has the same thing, and that's for the down side. The one on the back is for your return pressure. The up is supposed to be 3000 PSI. The return is supposed to be 15. I have the return line with lower pressure because when we're going down, we don't need that much strength and it'll pump that back in the tank rather than putting too much pressure on that. And I think that would also cause it to heat up the lines more where I'm restricting the flow. Not sure, but Anyway, this thing's working much better. I'm a lot happier. Uh, it was pretty scary when that thing would come down and clank. 
but now we got it under control and I have one more thing to share with you guys on my next video I'm installing this wireless remote so if you want to see that and see how to hook it up on these terminals then subscribe and come back for the next video as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time